Hi everyone, I've finished off another altered book. I've been working on this one for quite some time, putting it aside and picking it up. I've always wanted a Jane Austen journal. There's uh, some lovely journals the ladies have been making on Junk Journal Junkies. Just inspired me to go for it. I was lucky enough to find a purple book. As you all know, I love purple. I've just put a beautiful big satin mauve bow on the side and used an image I got off Pinterest for the front and mod podged it all. Um, it measures eight and three quarters by five and a half. So inside I've just used various kits and downloads and all sorts in it. Just wanted something pretty to look at. So I've used my Martha Stewart doily punch on the sides and inked it with purple ink I had. I just fussy cut this out of a page from a kit, Martha Stewart Doily, and inked it all up. And then I just wanted to store postcards and all sorts of ephemera in it. So this is one of the lovely postcards I found. And I've put some lovely ribbon down the side as well. Lovely page from a kit. Another doily. You can write on the page or the back of the um, card here. And then this is the pink dyed papers I do. So it's all pinks, purples and whites. It's a double pocket and I've just filled it with some lovely postcards of roses that I had. And then there's a card of Mr Darcy out of the kit. in there and on the side just another two postcards as well beautiful page from the kit this was a freebie from the Femoris garden vintage garden rather holds a postcard which you can write on the back of the page if I want on this side I've got a wee tuck spot I made out of the uh, flowers and again some freebies from a Ephemeral's Vintage Garden and there's a tuck spot up here as well if I want to put something up there a little tag from the kit a little belly band holding it in and back some more of the wee freebies and I've just um, dyed my seam binding I actually put it in the food colouring this time, that's why it's got the beautiful rich pink on it. It's a really nice postcard I bought from Etsy Sour. And this is all for Kit and the Pride and Prejudice. Um, it's a little seed flower package here. Another nice postcard. If you take the uh, paper clip off, you can write on the page I've got my Doily impression on. Cut out a wee flower from the kit. Edged it again with the pink. I've used um, well, the same one I always use, Victorian Velvet, on the pink pages to edge them. Made a wee tuck spot here with a lovely little postcard. And a nice tuck spot on this side, the tag. Just a collection of all pretty things I like. I've double edged this one in white and purple. Beautiful image of Pinterest. And I've dyed some of the purple seam binding as well. Another nice page. This one I thought was very pretty, very elegant, the cups of tea. And Doily, a nice tag. I think that one was Pinterest. Just edge them all with a bit of ribbon to add the colour, keep it going through. A nice purple page with a quote from Pride and Prejudice. This is a lovely little pocket. It has got a nice um, proper card that goes in it. I've used further on in the book, so I've just replaced it with a white one. This image of the old hat. And another verse of saying. This 
page. And I've actually cut this out of a page from the kit and I've just put a red tag in there to write on. Another doily. And I've actually cut another page. And this is probably my favourite page. This is a nice image from Pinterest under a doily and this is the lovely little tag that came out of the packet further down in the book. I've done my um, tags with a split. Got some nice wee tags in there. The perfume bottles. This is a bird with some purpley uh, it's wisteria or something come up. And the top opens. And we go to pink. And there's two nice tags in there with perfume bottles and soaps. And a beautiful postcard from a kit. And a fussy cut out the envelope underneath. A page with a pocket in it. And two of the tags out of the kit. And then I've got a big postcard under there that it comes out. It's just held in by the paper clip. And this is a lovely image I found on Pinterest. And I've just made a large tag to slip in and out behind it. Another postcard. Space to write underneath. And I just fussy cut the bird out and set it inside the frame like the roses throughout. Another nice page from the kit. And I found these um, lovely shoes. And then the last page. Another nice postcard. A wee stamp from the kit. Paper clip comes off so you can use the whole page. And then um, Tracy had gifted me this beautiful card so I cut the centre out and put it on the back page. That's my Jane Austen altar book. I really love it, so thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it.